Hi students, this is Shayan and welcome to my biology class. Today we will learn about DNA fingerprinting. If any students want to have a quick view over this topic, want to score high in exam, must watch this video till the end. This video will provide you a clear concept on DNA fingerprinting as well as will also provide you a good quality notes with lucid language for exam purposes. So let's begin. Let's start with its definition. It is a method used to identify an individual from a DNA sample with the help of some unique sequences in their DNA. We all know that on an average 99.9% .9 of all the DNA between two humans are same except that of identical twins. identical twins. So, it is that 0.1% of DNA that make us unique. And for DNA fingerprinting, this 0.1% of DNA is very, very important. So, among the entire 3 into 10 to the power 9 base pair, only 3 million base pair are unique in any individual and we have to work with this 3 million base pair for the purpose of DNA fingerprinting. Now let us know about the history of this process. Who discovered this process? This process was discovered by British scientist Professor Alec Jeffrey. He discovered this process in the year of 1984. Now let us move to our next topic. Now we will discuss about the principle of this process. DNA fingerprinting is based on sequence polymorphism that occurs in the human genome. Sequence polymorphism are slight sequence differences as found in the polymorphic loci of DNA called mini satellite or VNTR variable number tandem repeat. For the purpose to understand VNTR, we have to stretch our idea on our something known things. We all know that on an entire length of DNA, there are only some portion those are able to produce functional proteins. So these are the portion known to produce functional proteins. They are known as exon and in between them there are some stretches of DNA those are non-functional in respect of protein production they are termed as introns. So it is that intron which is also known as satellite DNA. Now for better understanding, we have to know about the different types of satellite DNA. At first, we discriminate different types of the satellite DNA. Satellite DNA are of two types. Number one, microsatellite and number two, mini satellite. Microsatellite are stretches of two to four base pair repeats. On the other hand, mini satellites are 6 to 25 base pair repeats. And for the purpose of DNA fingerprinting, this mini satellite is very, very important. Let us know about why mini satellite is known as variable ten number tandem repeats. Suppose there is a stretch of 6 base pair long repeats G, A, T, T, G, C. Again, this entire set of 6 base pair get repeated. G, A, T, T, G, C. If it keeps repeating G, A, T, T, G, C for multiple number of times, then such set of repetitive sequence will known as tandem repeats. 
Now we have to know why these tandem repeats are known as variable. For that purpose, we have to consider about two person, person 1 and person 2. Suppose this entire set of 6 base pair repeats G A T T C is uh, repeated in this individual for 4 times. So, this segment keeps repeating in this individual at a particular locus of his chromosome for 4 times. In the second person, the same base pair G A T T G C keeps repeated for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 times. So, no other difference are found in their base, only the difference between two individual is the number at which the tandem repeats keep repeated. In first person it repeats for four times, in second person it repeats for six times. That's why these mini satellites are referred as VNTRs or variable number tandem repeats because they are never in same set of repeat in any individual. Now we will discuss about the procedure of the DNA fingerprinting. The first step of DNA fingerprinting is the extraction of DNA from any sample. The sample may be blood or semen or any other living substances. Then we have to digest that sample DNA by restriction endonuclease. Why it is done? So that a long stretch of DNA can be turned into small DNA fragments. Then in the next step, we have to separate these uh, small DNA fragments with the help of gel electrophoresis. We have to put this segment of DNA into a gel and with time, this DNA segment will get separated from each other along with their lengths. In the next step, we have to blot the DNA on any nylon membrane or nitrocellulose membrane. We have to follow the southern blotting technique to transfer the DNA from this gel to the nitrocellulose membrane. Then in the next step, we have to incubate these DNA fragments with the help of radioactive probes. These are very vital. These probes are actually made and supplied to get attached with the VNTRs. So, this probe is very vital. For DNA fingerprinting, probes are supplied to identify the VNTR regions from any DNA sample. So, this actually help to differentiate between two individual. In the next step, we have to perform the autoradiography on a X-ray film so that we can identify that particular portion of DNA where this radioactive probe get attached and so that we can produce a DNA fingerprinting of any individual. Next, 
we will discuss about the application of the procedure. Here is the application of DNA fingerprinting. First, this technique is useful in forensic science to detect criminals among the suspected person. This technique become famous by resolving the great infamous Tandoor mother case in 2003. The next, this technique can be applied to resolve pattern dispute. Also, this technique helps to resolve the dispute of paternity between former Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister and Governor of Andhra Pradesh N.D. Tiwari and between Rohit Shekhar and later N.D. Tiwari became compelled to consider Rohit Shekhar as his biological son. Next, it helps in identifying victims in a disaster. It can be also applied to prepare personal identity. This technique is also helps to create a family tree. And last, it is not only used for humans but can also be used for other animals and plants in conservation biology, evolutionary biology and like that kind of biological studies and researches. Thus, from this entire discussion, we came to know about the different aspect and famous application of DNA fingerprinting. Thus, DNA fingerprinting becomes the most valuable modern day biotechnological process. That's all for today. Hope students love this video. And if you have any kind of queries, ask me in the comment box. Thank you.